Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to learn about various text functions in Excel that is going to be super important whenever you are working with any data that requires text manipulation. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we move forward in the video, let me tell you that B10X has an exclusive workshop on MS Office using ChatGPT and other AI tools the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video. Now let's get back to our topic. So basically I have a data set where I have various text data here and then we have some columns where we are going to use our different functions present in Excel to perform various manipulation over this data. Now let's say I want to bring some of the text from this particular full text. Okay, so let's call it as full text. So let's say I just want to get HE or maybe the first word only. So what I can do is there is a already a function in Excel known as left. Okay. So if I just write LE, it will pop up. So left and it takes the text. So this is the text that I want to use. And then it says number of characters. So how many characters from left I want? So if I provide one, then it will get me the first character, which is H. Similarly, if I drag it, so I will populate it throughout the data right similarly here you can provide any other thing like three something like that so accordingly i will get the number of letters on the left side of the data so yeah this is how it works similarly you guessed it right right function will get the data from the right side of the text so same syntax on this one as well so we keep the text and we Need to provide the number of characters okay so let's say i want three characters from right so rld and similarly here it will be asy right so if i double click it it populated right now comes to the mid function mid function actually takes um, basically you will get the data from the mid of the text okay so if i write mid right and then i'll provide the text and then it takes a start now. so where from I want to start so from where I want to start right so let's say I want to start from the third character let's say this is HEL right third character and it again asks me the number of character I want from this third character let's say I want three characters from so if I close the bracket and put it okay so I get LLO because it's the mid of the text right and if I drag it so from every text, I will get from third characters, three letters from the third character. So that's what the mid function does. Now coming to len. So len is a function that will provide you the length of the entire text. So if I write len, sorry, len, and then if I provide this one, it will basically give me the number of characters which is present in this text. Now it also includes the space characters. So any characters that is present, it is going to count it, right? So this is how we can do it. So this provides the length of the character. Now, let's say we don't want to count the space, right? We just want how many letters are there. Just want to find out that. How can you do that? So there is a function in Excel. So I'm writing it here. So called as substitute. So substitute will actually replace something okay so if i select this text okay and let's say i want to you know this space is there right i want to provide nothing instead of space okay i want to remove the space or replace the space right so you see it replaces the space and if i drag it it is just replacing every space and giving me the whole character now if i do a len to this particular uh, letter or this particular text so what I'll get, so I'll get the length as 10 because it excludes the space, right? It excludes the space. But the thing is, we can do it in the single formula only. So what I'll do within the length, I will add substitute and then I'll give reference to this particular cell and then I want my space to be replaced by nothing. Yeah, so you see, here the bracket is provided by Excel and then we can we are getting if I drag it 
So you'll see these numbers changing. It is same as this one because now we are counting the length excluding the space, right? Hope you have understood this. Before we move forward in the topic, let me tell you that AI is not going to replace you, but a person using AI will. So if you don't want to lag behind, then join the workshop to learn AI hacks in MS Office using ChatGPT and other AI tools. You don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and I'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this. So what are you waiting for? Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below. Now let's get back to our topic. Then comes find. Let's say we want to find something that is present in our text, right? So let's say I want to see whether hello is present in my text or not, right? So I will click on find, basically I'll select find and then find text, basically what I want to find, right? So equal to find, now find text means what I want to find. Let's say I want to find hello, right? I'll write hello and where I want to find, so within text. So I'll provide this one, from this text I want to find hello. So yeah, it give me one because from the first character only hello starts right but one thing you see if i make it like small h instead of capital h now it is giving me error so the find function is case sensitive case sensitive means it depends if whether you are using the proper case or not so if it is uppercase h you need to provide uppercase h then only it is able to find it so now let's say you don't know, right? You just want to find it, whether it's a capital letter or small letter. So instead of find, you can use a function called as search. Okay, so search function. So in search functions, you see, uh, even if I provide, you know, a small h, it will be able to find it, right? So yeah, so that is one case. Another interesting thing is, let's say here I will add Excel is easy, then again is, right? Now, if I use the find function, what will happen? Because there are two is, right? So, find, now I want to find is. Now, if I provide the text in this one, then I close it. Now, it gives me the seventh letter so it's saying me from the seventh it starts so basically find function starts finding the text from the left side and whatever the first thing it gets it provides you the index of that particular uh, findings okay so it's providing this is but let's say i want to find this is right not this one so what i'll do I want I can instruct the find that to find start finding from a certain number of characters. So after this, so there is an optional argument start now. So let's say I want to start from the eighth character because in the seventh uh, we already have is right. Let's say I want to start from the eighth character. Now we'll see this is giving me fifty because now it starts uh, from this particular character this s onwards and it finds is here so it's providing me fifty. So this is one thing and this is same for the search function as well. So search function is case insensitive, find function is case sensitive, right? Then comes text join. So text join is a very popular function. So if I want to join multiple texts, I can use text join function. So first of all, I need to provide delimiter. Delimiter is like whether I want to separate the text in any way or not. So let's say I want to separate the text by commas, right? So I'll provide comma. Then it says whether you want to ignore empty or not. So for now, let's keep it false, which is zero. So I will ignore if there is any empty space. And then simply I can drag whatever I want to select or whatever I want to join, right? And if I close it, so you see, it uh, actually joins these two texts using comma. If I provide something like space, it will also do it like space. And also, you see, there is options like I. It's just not need to be. You need to drag and select. You can select individual as well, like this one, comma, this one, right? So you get RLD and HL. So this is how it works. So you see, everything is working like that. And here, since find, we are 
you know hard coding this thing if we if you drag it maybe in some time we will able to find so for example is is here so analysis is is here but in artificial intelligence uh, that is is not there so it is giving me a value error right so text split text split is something opposite of text join so if i use text split so text split and here i need to provide text and then i need to provide delimiter right so let's say the delimiter is space so i'll provide space I'll hit on okay and you see it separated my text using the space now if i drag it so you'll see so yeah now it increases if my um, word has multiple uh, spaces and it separates or splits the text using the space sign okay so yeah hope you understand how these functions work how, what are the syntax of these functions and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description. We'll see you there. Thank you.